Uh, I'm gonna start with how I was uh, before I came to God. So like I used to be really like disrespectful to my parents. I used to be a, a rebellion. Uh, I did everything that they hated. Um, I, I had a bad relationship with everyone. I um, did a lot of bad things that I shouldn't. Um, um, like I lied, I cheated, I did all of those things. And like now it would be considered cool, like how uh, kids my age or what they do. Um, but I felt lonely, and I did. Um, I felt even though I had friends and family, I still felt felt like I was alone, and I was scared all the time. I was I had like depression, and um, I was always scared, and I I don't know like I can't be around with people. I can't um, I can't be up here if if like I can't talk in front of people. And even now, like, I have problem like looking at you guys, but like I have God, so like I'm kind of I'm getting like courage from Him. So, so um, like I was feeling lonely, defeated, and then it was the season of Lent. Uh, I was like, I'm like that's it, and then I finally started fasting and I started praying. And slowly, Jesus came and He started taking away some of the sins in my life. And so we, I started gaining my relationship with my father and my mom and my siblings and um, and even the people in my church. They saw like a uh, difference um, in the season of Lent. So um, slowly, slowly, Jesus like came into my life. And then the summer of 2013, uh, I accepted Christ, and now I'm like living for Him. Even though I have struggles, I, I'm not finished yet. But even I've struggled in a lot of ways, but uh, he's in, in my heart, I know, and that I'm going to heaven one day, one day, and um, he's, he has helped me in a lot of ways, like a lot of things, and I'm so thankful. Another thing is the Satan used to taunt me a lot, he used to give me dreams, and I, I, he, he used to scare me, like I, I could sense someone watching me, but now he, uh, I'm not scared of anything. I'm, I'm, I can totally be me and free because I'm Jesus. So, thank you. An honor to have testimony today. We ask a question to do kisi bache ke dil mein. Well, you are young enough when just a teenager. What do you think? Aap kya message to ke jo teenagers hain aur bache ho, bache unke liye kya message hai? Um, I have to say that, like, your teen years, it's not, you don't need to please everyone. You need, you don't need to look cool, or you, you don't need to act or dress like someone, like, like famous person or whatever. Um, just live for God, live for Jesus, because that has many blessings, like, I've um, discovered. Because uh, I try to please everyone, and that was a total disaster. Could, because I can't please anyone, and but I have Christ on, that's who I need to please, and he doesn't expect much. God bless you. Well, you were away, you were totally different, and you took you turn, and now you feel that Jesus lives in you. Kabhi aapko laga ke aap log sochte hai. You are not accepted in community. You are accepted. You are not accepted in your college or school. And what do you feel when people think like that? That you are separated from this world. Even in my school, like people know I I say I'm a Christian, and people tend to stay far away from me. They're like, well, she's holier than thou. Whatever. They call me Jesus speak, but I'm like, I really don't care because I've. In the end. It, they're just, they're, it's not going to matter, basically. And I have peace when people say that to me. I, I smile because I'm like, I'm happy because in the Bible it says you're, you're going to be persecuted. And I, I'd rather have Jesus than have uh, than to please people. Amen. Amen. And uh, last question. <laughs> last question. You know why I'm asking? Because we have uh, you know, many youth almost uh, 30, uh, 35 uh, youth members you know, in our
congregation. Uh, I always feel that they should glorify His name, and they are doing that. But I always want that they should have a hunger and thirst that wherever they go, the shy. Don't you feel shy to proclaim when you share testimony? And why not? Yeah, like when um, he was saying that I should share my testimony, I was hesitant. I'm like, no, I don't think so. Like, I don't even know you guys. And, and he's like, why not? You know, he, he kind of like helped me. But then in the end, I was like, you know, why not? Because God, God, like I've, whenever I share a testimony afterwards, I feel this incredible peace of his presence. So I'm like, I'll, you know, I was fine. I really don't care. But like, I, I did feel shy, but I prayed a lot about it in the way to church because I was feeling really nervous. Okay, so like, manna, kabi kabi, uh, on my porch, like, I love singing to God because I can be alone with Him, my alone time. So I, sometimes I ask God for stuff, like, just for, like, for the sake, and I asked Him for a white butterfly, and suddenly there's, like, a white butterfly pops out of nowhere. And then I, like, for a while, it was, like, a white butterfly that comes, like, here and there, and then I asked for a different color, and it, that color, like, it was, like, orange. Like, my sisters are laughing because I tell them all the time about it. So, it, it, an orange one came, and then, like, and even now, I, I was just, whenever I want God, I want to see God, He shows me a white butterfly, because that's what I asked Him for. Well, He said that, I will never leave you now for he always with us. So it's a matter of. Whatever sense you.